What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Central Center Time. I have a very special guest, Dr. Clay. She's a board certified dermatologist. She's gonna tell us all about the wonderful field of dermatology, some advice for you guys. And Dr. Clay, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us what you do and kind of uh, who you are. Hi, I'm Dr. Tiffany Clay. I practice dermatology here in Atlanta. I work in a private practice office, which is only um, built with dermatologists, so just a small group practice here. I work in three different office locations in the metro Atlanta area. As a dermatologist, I work full time. Mm -hmm. um, so I work full 40 hours per week, and I only work four days, which means 10 hour work days. Wow. Um, <laughs> it's pretty busy, pretty, um, Pretty uh, high impact day, so um, that's kind of what I do. I work from seven to five um, each of those days. Got you. And what was it about dermatology that got you interested in it? Uh, why did you choose dermatology? Um, initially, when I thought I wanted to be a doctor as a teenager, I thought, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I want to be an OBGYN, I want to deliver babies. And then I realized I don't really want those hours. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I had a few skin issues I had eczema, I had acne. Mm -hmm. Um, I had a hair loss condition at one point when I was really young, and so that was kind of my intro to dermatology, and I thought, okay, that would be a nice career, that would be a nice lifestyle, and I love the variety of dermatology, so I get to see patients in clinic, but also use my hands and do procedures and surgeries, too. Okay, and what is a typical day for you? Kind of, you mentioned it kind of starts at 8 o'clock and ends at 5. How, how does your day usually go? You're in clinic and you see patients, or... Can you describe kind of your typical day? Yeah, so I spend 100% of my um, my practice in actual patient care. So mm -hmm. um, I work in a clinic alone. I usually don't work with any of my colleagues in any of the offices. Um, I start work at 7 o'clock, which means I get there a few minutes before that, and that first mm -hmm. patient appointment starts at 7. Mm -hmm. um, my last appointment ends at 5 o'clock. So um, in that time frame, I'm usually seeing somewhere between 50 and 60 patients a day. Well, marathon. Yeah, that's um, a busy day. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, I have about um, three medical assistants who follow me throughout the day. They mm -hmm. help me type up the notes. They help get prescriptions ready for patients. Um, in that time frame, 60 people in about 10 hours, that does mean that every 10 to 15 minutes, I'm switching and seeing a different patient. So gotcha. um, for me, the day is about managing time trying to make sure that every patient gets what they need, but not mm -hmm. um, try to try to basically time manage myself. Gotcha. <laughs> and to become a dermatologist requires four years of medical school and then four years of residency. Do most people do a fellowship after that or most people go into practice right away? Um, I think most people go into either private practice or um, into academic practice. Okay. Thankfully, a dermatology a dermatology residency is um, does a very great job of preparing you. So, okay. where I did my uh, residency, St. Louis University in Missouri, I was able to work with most surgeons and cosmetic dermatologists, mm. medical dermatologists. So, I felt well prepared to just finish and graduate there and move on into private practice. Gotcha. And once you're done with all of your training, how much can a person expect to make as a dermatologist? I know that probably varies by where you are, academic versus private, but what, what is a typical salary for a dermatologist? Um, so when we talk about salary, usually mostly in private practice, um, it's pretty rare to have salaries now, so it's usually based off of commission. Mm -hmm. And um, as a private practice dermatologist, usually we start out at somewhere between 250 to 60,000 and mm -hmm. up. Um, if you're thinking about an academic practice or an academician, um, they make a little bit less. So it's a, they usually get a salary and it's usually sure. somewhere, um, starting around 240 or $250,000 per year. Okay. And out of the fields and, and uh, medicine, there are a lot of competitive specialties. Dermatology is probably one of the hardest ones to get into. What kind of advice would you give to medical students who are interested in the field of dermatology? Because the people that I know that went to dermatology, they, they actually took off a year and did an extra year of medical school. Is that mandatory? And what other advice would you, you have for those medical students or uh, expiring dermatologists out there? 
Um, so the number one thing would, for me would be to get a mentor mm-hmm. or someone who is in dermatology that you can actually shadow, that you can bounce questions off of. Um, there were certain things in dermatology that I had no idea to mm-hmm. expect, like that I needed to be really strong in um in immunology and infectious disease so things yeah. like oh, i don't need that for dermatology gotcha. um so just making sure that it's actually something that you'll, you'll really be interested in um, once you get into that field number two research 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 mm-hmm. um i did not do a lot of research i didn't mm-hmm. have a mentor so i'm basically telling you to do everything that i did not um in, in hindsight um getting research and having the opportunity to work even if it's not in dermatology but just mm-hmm. to get um, on some publications, it just shows, shows that you're strong, makes you a stronger applicant. Um, and also volunteering, I believe, mm-hmm. is a big, um, really important thing that we look for in your applications in dermatology. So we want to see that you're a real, well-rounded person, not just someone who's kind of in the books all day, but someone yeah. who's in the books who can give back and who likes to do a little research or dabble in it um, here and there. Okay. And I know you, you, you mentioned seeing about 50 to 60 patients per day, but what kind of patients are you usually seeing? Uh, I know it probably varies. What kind of conditions do you usually treat? Usually, um, it's very bread and butter. In private practice, it's very bread and butter dermatology. Okay. So, um, I would say maybe in an average day of 60, about 20 patients are there for acne, mm. about 15 are there just for a full general skin check to look for skin cancer. Mm. Um, I see quite a bit of psoriasis in mm. eczema patients and of each day, maybe somewhere between two to four surgeries, which could be cutting out a cyst or mm. removing a skin cancer and then here and there doing cosmetic procedures also like Botox and fillers. Okay. And any other advice for uh, pre-med students out there or people that are interested in the field of medicine? What kind of advice would you uh, give to those students? Do not give up. Um, Mm -hmm. As a black woman, a young black woman um, who I kind of always had an interest in dermatology towards the end of college and into medical school, I always heard, oh, you know, that's competitive. Mm -hmm. Um, You should have a plan B. What else do you think you could do? And I stuck with it. I never had a plan B. Um, I had some hiccups and I I ended up uh, actually um, applying two years because of Mm -hmm. Katrina, which was my my setback. Yeah. Um, but just keep going, you guys. You, you got to keep pushing. If it's something that you really want and like me, you can't see yourself doing anything else, don't settle. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And can you tell us a little bit about your practice, location, and if patients want to be seen by you, <clears throat> how can they contact you to, get, to be seen by you? Absolutely. So I work at Dermatology Affiliates. Mm-hmm. Um, we have four offices in the metro location. I work at three of them. We have a website, which is dermatologyaffiliates.com. The telephone number is 404-816-7900. I work in East Cobb. I work in Buckhead and Mm -hmm. Midtown locations. And you can also um, find me personally on Instagram at dermdrclay, D-E-R-M-D-R-C-L-A-Y. Okay, and I'll put those links in the uh, description and video. Uh, three last questions, and I always ask every person that I interview these questions can be one to uh, two word answers. Uh, your favorite food? Oh gosh, that's hard. Um, pizza. Pizza, <laughs> good choice. <laughs> Um, I know in orthopedics, my favorite uh, kind of condition or uh, part of orthopedics is spine surgery. Do you have a favorite part of uh, dermatology that you enjoy the most? I enjoy surgery. Surgery? I love working with my hands and seeing that instant difference of cutting a skin cancer out, stitching it up, and knowing that it's fine. Gotcha. And what is your favorite thing to do outside of medicine? I love to eat. Eat? Okay. (laughs) Got gotcha. you. Well, thank you, Dr. Clay. Congratulations on all your success. You're a real inspiration to all of us uh, up and coming um, attending physicians and those who are looking to get into medicine. I really appreciate you uh, coming on today. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. Yep, you're welcome. And for everyone else, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll see you next time.